TN card for today. So we'll have five of those, and then we have five giveaways of Grub, five Grubhub giveaways as well. So we'll be giving away, we'll pay, be paying for five guys dinner today. Yep, absolutely, man. Make, make sure you guys are there too. If you win, don't take long. You never, you never know what's going to end up happening. Exactly. Yeah, make the, make sure you're ready. Center. Make sure you're paying attention. Turn that sound on. Turn it up if you need to. Because oh, yeah. we, we aren't wasting any time today. I've been watching Friday Night Football. You know, while I've been at, you know, on break at home, just chilling. And, you know, you guys haven't been holding me down with the with the re-rolls and re-rolling people with the quickness. We got to we got to get change that energy and get it back. Right. Yep, absolutely. And here we go. The first game of the day, Electric DC versus Beast Mode Mac, a, a, a matchup we talked about in the brackets. Uh, Electric DC putting his hands on people. Let's see if he can put his hands all over Beast Mode Mac. And he's team. off and he's to the going, races. This is what he does. He's got the Gale Stairs. And he's got the star underneath his name. It's got to be Jukebox, right? Oh, yeah. It's 100% Jukebox. Like I said, I played him. I watched him put hands on Taylor Gang. I watched him put hands on Drini. <laughs> then I watched him put hands on Rage. Then I watched him put hands on Ghost. I mean, he just, yes. was, just, he was just running through all of them. Like, it was just nothing. Yeah. With the yes. same look was, on his face. I was there. I was, yeah, with the same looking in his dorm room or wherever the hell he was. <laughs> yeah. Hands on people. yeah, with his homie on the, the bottom bunk. He, he had his homie <laughs> on the bottom bunk. He is, he's a top bunk kind of guy. You know, so he <laughs> he's a top bunk kind of guy. Uh, imagine going up against somebody and he's a top bunk kind of guy. You don't want to, you don't want to play that guy. Yeah, you don't want to play that. He's guy. a bottom bunk guy. You yeah. want to play him. You want to play the bottom bunk. bunk guys. You don't. You do. You do not want to play a, bot, a top bunk kind of guy. <laughs> oh wow, that's absolutely hilarious. So let's see what Beast Mode Mac can retaliate with. That was such a quick score. Um. And Breeze, yes, using... he put hands on me too. But the difference is, the reason why I didn't mention me is because dream. I got my get back. He's, if you get your get back, it don't, it doesn't count. It do, yeah, it cancels out the the, the hands. It cancels out the, it, it cancels out the pop. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. That that's the one. That's facts right there. It's one hundred percent facts. It's just how it is. It's just how it is on the streets of men. But uh, let's see what what ends up happening. He's been riding that Gale Sayers in all of his streams. I'm not sure what the what, what beast mode. He's going to be running. It looks like he's got Tom Brady. Uh, that's not a good sight for, for wide receivers. It looks like he's going to be running the ball all game. Oh, yeah. This is definitely about to be a uh -oh. run show. Uh -oh, bad, no. bad pursuit right there. He clicked on. Maybe, I'm assuming maybe he didn't know he was going to get clicked onto that guy, and he just yeah. ran right past him. Off to the races. <laughs> Easy touchdown. Two plays, two <laughs> scores, both rushing touchdowns. We already have over 150 yards rushing. The game hasn't even gone for 30 seconds. I know, it's crazy. Burgers, donuts, Niswa salad. Delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide. If you want it all, you can get it all. Grubhub, restaurants you love delivered. All right, so we're back here. Something I want to point out, because uh, I've been watching a lot of the, uh, electric streams. He, he was in the single back tight uh, wing okay. tight or not wing tight? Single back tight, I think it was formation. Um, and yeah. now it looks like he's in he's in something with a fullback, so in like an I form tight situation. So this is a little bit new territory from what I'm uh, uh, used to seeing from Electric. Um, it clearly worked the first play, and it's it worked. Gonna work the second I, play. <laughs> three plays, and we are already over 200 yards rushing right now. Three plays, chat. This is the nature of Madden 20 right now. This is the nature of the business. You, if you don't have run D, even if you do have run D, you still could give up 250 yards rushing. And that's that's the problem. You can figure it out. Game. We got to yeah. figure out something. This is crazy. I mean, to think about how, like, Madden 20 is a, it's a high power game. Like, it's a running game, but it's still high power. Like, typically, when you, if I was to say, "Yo, Stiff, Madden 20 is going to be a very high power game." I mean, uh, it's going to be a run-heavy game. You would say, all right, well, it's going to be a bunch of slow, dull, boring mm -hmm. games. But it's total, the total opposite. Like, it's huge runs left and right. I don't know if that's necessarily uh, similar to real life or not, but we, we just we have, you know, it's basically Big Run City. Absolutely. I would love to see some of these, uh, some of these teams these people are using because um, – I'm going to throw out some some stats to you uh, right after this play on, on some key players, low cap, that are very good at stopping the run. So here we go, stretch. It looks like uh, we're not going to have we're not going to go four for four, everybody, with, with the stretch touchdowns. 
Um, but I want to throw some players at you. Linval Joseph, 94 strength, 86 block shed. Damon Harrison, 89 block shed, 87 strength. And then you got Brandon Williams, 90 block shed, 90 strength, all 22, 23 cap players. I have them, all three of them on my team when I run 3-4. And, I mean, I don't give up a lot of yards. I still lose the game, but I don't give up a oh, lot yeah. of running yards. So you, <laughs> so you want to teach us how to lose, but lose without giving up a lot of yards. I got you. Well, okay. Sounds like a up. pretty good recipe. I'm trying to give some tips to players who may be playing salary cap, and they're cheap. They are super cheap, no more than 50K. Um, you can get these players. They got high strength, high block shed. Put them at your front three. Uh, they block shed very, very well. That's all I'm trying to I'm trying to help the yeah, people. Honestly, right? Let's have you know, I'm trolling music. you, but I have heard uh, a lot of good things about that Linval Joseph. I can't remember who else you named, but I definitely heard a lot of good things about that Linval Joseph. So you're, you're probably on to something there. <laughs> When you start, you know, mention some of these things, so definitely check out these guys that he's mentioned, and hopefully you can stop the run. <laughs> Bob, what are you talking about? <laughs> so here we go. First and ten. I gotta go in a deep voice now. First and ten on his own forty-five yard line. There we go. We got some stout run defense coming in. Lawrence Taylor. JP the dog with the uh, tier one sub. Appreciate you, my man. Definitely appreciate the support. Support everything that every sub definitely goes right back into Friday Friday night football and my head esports. My head isn't pocketing subs or anything like that. It's definitely going right back into you know helping the community and supporting the competitors and stuff like that. So you're telling me I'm not getting a, a piece of that? Is that what you're saying? No, uh, trust you don't me. Get a piece of that? Trust me, I would <laughs> love to get a piece of that. You know, every dollar counts. Man, I just had to pay a huge bill on my um to get my car fixed. So trust me, I will definitely take a piece of it if you guys want to give it to me. However, <laughs> I'm not. The motioning over some another uh, strong I form formation. Uh, you're gonna be seeing that a lot today. It looks like he's flipping it, or he's probably resetting his play. Looks like stretch right. Back in the box, running that 3-4 defense. He's going to be able to get containment. And Bo Jackson is going to get that first down. Pretty sure he's probably got Bruiser on his Bo Jackson, which gives you stronger truck animations. And what you really want is that stiff arm ability. You get stronger stiff arms. Mm -hmm. no, no running back right now can get arm bar, which is probably a blessing in disguise. Because uh, I, I don't know. Have you ever tried pairing up? Imagine pairing up Bo Jackson with Armbar and Bruiser. Jeez. Oh, boy. Jeez. Oh, boy. I mean, I it would be scary. Like. I don't know what that I mean, life is. It's like already to... scary right now. But, mm -hmm. man, it, the run is so – like, you don't even need abilities to be able to average 250 yards rushing a game. So, the fact that, you know, you can add these abilities, it just makes it that much tougher. To, to deal with and handle, like, it, it's, it's rough. Yeah, absolutely. So second and one, let's see what Beast Mode Mac can come up with. So far, it's been a running. Has the pass been thrown yet? I don't think so. Bo uh, Jackson no. again. It's Tote City right now. It's, Tote it's, City. Eight it's Tote City right now. Eight rushes for 119 yards we got going on I here. I mean, how close are we to 300 yards mm -hmm. rushing total so far? Yeah, exactly, Pack Attic. Yeah, These Bugattis are expensive, there. bro. Like, is that, who knew that it was this expensive to get a Bugatti fix, man? I, I, it's time to return it. So someone just mentioned that the abilities don't stack. I thought that meant if you try and get two of the same ability, because can't you get two of the same ability if you wanted to? Like a tier three slot, can't you get like, uh, can't you put the same ability in three no, slots you if, you, if you really wanted to? But it just wouldn't stack? I thought that's well, what they meant. Or what exactly do you mean? Like two bruisers? Well, no, because bruiser is a tier two ability. Um, so I meant maybe if you wanted to put like enforcer on all three of your abilities, because enforcer is a tier one ability for like Pat Tillman. I thought you could do that, but you you the game allows you to put three enforcers in all three of your tiers, but it says they do not stack. I thought that's what it meant. And since bruiser and armbar are two different abilities. I thought that you could stack know. those two. This abilities. is over my head right here, so I'm I, just gonna, I'm, a, I'm going to fall back, and whatever you guys say, I'm just going to say, you know, it's pretty much the same thing I tell my wife. 
uh, whatever. <laughs> like, that's well, pretty... there it is, folks. <laughs> Third and 14, a little bit of run defense from Electric DC. And he's committed to running the ball even on third and 14. And this is a good call, Chad. Oh, Jack. boy. It's a good call. This is a good call. It's, it's the I mean, nature. It's good, Unfortunately, it's a, it's a good call. Uh, I saw someone in the chat say, how do competitive players feel about the nature of the game right now as far as, like, this being the the meta and all that stuff? Me personally, and for most competitive players that I, I know and speak with, most don't like the current nature of the game. Um, it's frustrating. It's, it's very frustrating. Most players do not like what's going, you know, as far as, like, how the game plays and it being super run heavy. There are some that, that likes that actually like the way the game is right now. Um, as far as for myself, and speaking specifically for myself, I'm not that big of a fan of the run, run, run nature. Um, it's just not who I am. It's never. It will never be who I am. It's a run, run, run game, and I'm still going to air that thing out and throw dots. That's just who I am. That's who I'll always be. Throwing lasers out there. I, I watch a stream nine nine a.m. Eastern nine Standard Time. Everybody, Bugatti Boogs. Exactly. He goes live. He plays a little salary cap in the morning, afternoon. He turns it over to his uh, partner in crime, uh, uh, one great user. They play uh, Superstar KO most of the time. It's a, it's a fun time out there in the Bugatti Boogs stream. Make sure you guys go check him out. Good time yeah, to catch fun. me in there. We have fun every morning. We have fun every morning. Jam out to some some good music. Vibe out. You know, have a good time. You know, do giveaways. Do all kinds of good stuff. It's a good time, pretty much. Make sure you're in there 9 a.m. every morning, Monday through Friday. Bugatti Bugs. And on that note, as far as giveaways are concerned, we got a giveaway right now. Pretty sure everybody's oh, ready to eat. Oh, boy. Here it is. We're ready to eat. It's dinner time for somebody. Oh, it's, it's Gale Sayers as well. What does he have? He has four rushes for 163 yards. I think it's safe to say. I think we're right around that 300 mark. So get those grub hubs in the chat right now. It's time yep. to get some. It's time to pay for some dinner tonight. Somebody, somebody's Word. chilling right now and needs some food, or somebody, somebody's old lady is right on the side of them right now with the mean face. They're hungry. They hangry. They're hangry right now. <laughs> you need to feed them. That might be top top one worst things that you could do to your wife or a significant other. Oh, most angry? definitely. Oh, you, you don't, don't want to be around a hangry person. You don't. You don't want, especially not a hangry wife. Oh no, God, you're sleeping downstairs if you got a hangry wife. <laughs> Great to see all the Grubhubs in the chat. We'll be rolling that very soon. Here we go, another third, third and close. So we got third and five, thirty-eight seconds left in the half. Does he go to shotgun, folks? What do you think? I have seen the streams. He does like to go to a shotgun tight off uh, that tight yeah, end. He, he'll go to it, but he, you really have to force him to do yeah. it. it. It's it's very, very rare for him to go and just start passing the ball. My guy, Roger that. What's good with you, boss? Oh, he get, he seals the edge. Oh, does it pre? He shouldn't have jukeboxed like that. He got a little jukebox heavy, but ends up still picking up the first down. He could have gotten a lot more after that. Exactly, DJ Mont. Happy wife, happy life. And yes, yeah, somebody in the chat asks, yes, drops are active. You do not have to type drops in the chat. You just have to be a active member in the, in the chat. You know, talk about the game. You don't have to type drops. You don't have to type MDD. Just talk about this wonderful game that we have right now, this electric versus beast mode match. And let's just enjoy, vibe out, chill, and enjoy the game. And collect our drops. I watched Rockets, he he has some drops today. I watched his, him open some of those packs. This dude pulled an 88 Bobby Wagner. What's really going he, on? He, got, he has Wagner. to be the luckiest Madden, Madden guy of all time. Those are Hail Mary packs we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He threw the Hail Mary. He Aaron right. Rodgers did. I'm actually gassing. It was, it was another pack. It was like one of the weekend league packs. No matter what, <laughs> he still is very lucky for what he was pulling. <laughs> Runs the ball again. And uh, if you guys are wondering why he ran the ball there, it's 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 mainly because he was trying to get into field goal range, which didn't end up working, clearly. And then he tried hovering up. Didn't he have a timeout left, too? Not sure why he didn't call a timeout. Uh, the runoff happened when he tried hovering up. End of the first half. So we got a 14-10 game. 
I I don't know who who has the upper hand right now. I I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, but we're about to find out, seeing what ends up happening. Good little catch by Pollard. That seems to be another uh, meta player that a lot of people are using. Uh oh. I believe you have Pollard too, right, Boogs? Uh yes, I have Pollard out there. He's honestly he's a he's a really solid back. What's his what's his speed and what's his cap? Do you, do you know off the top? His cap is twenty nine. His speed uh -huh. is eighty nine with ninety excel. Uh, he's a really good back. He's solid. He has like 79 carry. You know, that's not high, obviously, but it's still pretty decent for a budget card. He, he does what, what you need him to do when you're a guy like me that don't really run the ball at all. I just need him to get into the end zone when I'm in the red zone. That's it. Yeah, And if you, and if you tend to break something, he's got the speed and acceleration exactly. so he doesn't get caught. You know, you, that's the worst, trying to get caught. Exactly. That's, what, that's the main thing. I d just don't get caught in open field. Mm-hmm. So we just got a first down again from Beast Mode, and I'm pretty sure that Beast Mode is not going to pass the ball this entire game. I don't think he. I don't think so. And shout out to hunch. T3 Mix 12 for winning the Grubhub giveaway. He's a real one. He's been paying attention. He knows the rules. He claimed that thing with no hesitation. He's hungry, obviously. Somebody is going to get rerolled tonight. I'm hoping for it because I haven't <laughs> rerolled anyone, and it's been about a month and a half now. So I. I need to get my, my juices flowing again and make it happen. Yeah, the Boogs needs the needs that re-roll. He needs it in his veins. Good defense there by Electric DC. Bring up a third and four. Good stout run defense. I'm wondering, there needs there has to be some better run defense. Everyone's in three four. I mean yeah. the, the reason you could put the you could put the linemen in, you could put the linebackers out. Mm -hmm. Um that's why a lot of people would do the 3-4. Some people go with the 3-4 bear. You could create a pretty cool look out of that. He's going to go to the stretch, and he's going to break that tackle. Ah, Bo Jackson, 16 rushes, 148. Uh, Chaos said, does the run-heavy nature of the game lean you towards a more balanced attack? No, it does not. Not for me. For me, no. No chance. I'm still airing it out every play. If you watch my stream... Um, I, I pass the ball every play, bro. Every play. Um, <laughs> if I do run, it's I'm trolling. I'm I'm seriously trolling just to troll, um, or just trying to have fun with the, in the stream. It's it's not because I actually run in an actual game that matters. I'm gonna put the ball in my hands because at the end of the day, even though running is so high power, it's so reliable, and it's so smart to do in this game. However. I feel like I have more control over the game when I put it in my hands and trust on my reads versus the risk of a potential fumble and stuff like that. That's the reason why I've always passed the ball because I just feel like I have more control over what happens in the game when I pass. The Brat 29, thanks for the tier one sub. Buster Harley coming in hot too as well. Thank you guys so much for all the support. My guy Rip nice. eleven twenty seven was good, boss. Second and eight. Beast Mo Mac driving on electric DC three right now. Hasn't thrown the ball one time. I would love to know what cap that Brady is. It cannot be good at all. Um, looking like another stretch to the left. He doesn't have Bo Jackson in, so that's something to look forward to right now. Is that Pollard? Uh yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah, power yeah. in the game right now. He's definitely going to run the ball. I'm curious, is that the ten cap Brady? If it's a ten cap Brady, he's definitely not passing the ball, no matter what. No matter what happens, he is not passing the ball. If it's the ten cap, I haven't actually seen his lineup to know, but I'm going to take a an educated guess and say it is the ten cap, and he's probably going to run the ball no matter what. Because what pass can you throw with a ten cap quarterback? A flat route. Yeah, I would love to know his wide receivers too. You just press them, they yeah. get stone. Looks like he, looks like he has tight ends out here. Oh, here comes a broken tackle. Well, Pat Willis with that. It looked like he had uh, tackle unfakeable supreme or, or tackle unfakeable supreme. or something. Yeah, one of those. One of those things. One of those uh, attributes on him were cards, abilities, uh, so that they cannot break the tackle. It seems to be the meta and the ability that is to stop all the jukeboxes and the arm bars and the bruisers 
Uh, that up there with Enforcer, but Enforcer is actually pretty tough to get. Only a couple cards or a few cards can get those abilities right now. So Beast Mode Max is going to settle for three. Electric DC, uh, it, the game's in his hands now. So right now, this is his, his game to lose, right? Yeah, oh, most definitely. It's his game to lose. If he can manage this clock properly, you know, he doesn't even need to score. He just needs to take time with this new, mm -hmm. another huge thing that isn't really talked about enough within the community is the fact that they've changed the play clock with the 40 second play clock now in mutt in salary cap in particular and the runoff you can this is this is more like old school regs where you can once you hit once you hit that two minute warning if they don't have timeouts it's gg you're done it is ggs G in the chat it is ggs yes yep gg in the chat no timeouts so, after the two minute warning you yeah he can take cooked. as much time right now as he as he possibly can he definitely uh, just settles for three. He's good because he doesn't. He just cannot give up the, that touchdown. And exactly. uh, um, and you know, you, running the ball, you're not going to really get out of bounds very much. So the, the clock's going to keep running. Hurry up now works. Uh, previously, if you hurried up, I believe it happened last week. It will only take like two seconds off, no matter where you hurried up. Now it actually takes an appropriate amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, so look for that. But he's put in a very difficult position. Does he have a third dot for situation? And 13 with 10 cap Brady. <laughs> Atkins, that's a 10 capper. Holt is not a 10 capper. I don't know if he has a 10 capper or not. Well, he must have a 10 capper if he chose not to pass the ball there. Yep. I mean, yeah. uh, everyone's I mean, opting for just the run, run, run life. It's it's not pretty. I'm not a fan of it. And However, he's going to punt the ball here. This, he is, this is what these guys are rocking with right now. Uh, it couldn't be me. But Bad it, it, clock it management. You have to let that go down to the two-minute warning. This that's yep. that's an inexperienced play call right there for him to just punt the ball. He, he's really not paying attention to what he's doing right here. It looks like he's just just playing the game versus actually being super locked in, trying to win the game. You got to pay attention to that and make sure you take that time off. Unless you're not trying to win this one thousand dollars and give yourself a shot at two thousand dollars next week. Yeah, because if you win two games, you're automatically invited next week where you could be facing the uh, the winner of this week's Friday Night Football. So you want to make sure you're at least uh, you're at least invited, right? Oh, most definitely. And great Gatsby, my guy, I apologize if we missed your, your sub. We appreciate your sub as well. I definitely appreciate you. you you're always supporting the community. Shout out to my guy J-Dub with the sub. Get those sub get pipes you. in the chat for uh, J-Dub awesome. as well. Make sure, that's another you know valuable member of the man community, man. Make sure you check out his podcast, the uh, Out of Bounds podcast. And I don't know the exact days that he goes live. Whatever days you go live, just make sure you check out the Out of Bounds podcast. Mm -hmm. Check out J Dub in the chat. That just sub to the channel. Make sure you check him out, man. He has a really cool podcast for sure. I was on there last week and had a bunch of fun. So yeah, make sure you check him out. Yeah, definitely some good stuff that he's coming out with. Great content. So we got a 39 coming up. Looks like he's going single back flex. Or single back tight flex. I, I forget exactly what it's called. Looks like he's going with the dive. I think he's going to get the run defense here. Oh, bad oh, pursuit he right awful. there. Oh, but he gets it. He does stop him before the first down marker. So we are going to have a fourth down coming. He could have stopped him a lot further. It's just bad. Bad run stick or bad uh, defense, I should say. That guy, Kanan. Yes, I do play weekend league on stream. I played my very first weekend league ever, honestly, last week. Had a bunch of fun, but I had a bunch of stress as well. Got a few gray hairs from it. The most Good I've ever raised, or actually the only time I've ever raised ever. Huge fourth down right here, though. Run commit, even though it doesn't work. <laughs> I, I played it with I my mean, salary cap team, too. I'd run commit here just because it's random. You just it doesn't never really work, though. Oh, no, it's That's random. why I don't run commit, especially yeah, for random. an outside run. He's running a stretch. Uh, you run commit. Uh, oh, great run, great yeah, run defense good. right there. He gets the stop. Electric DC yep. knows what he's doing. He locked up, got the ball back, and he's at a he's in a very very favorable position right here. Yep, and on the on the contrary, Beast Mode Mac just turned the ball over on downs. Obviously, he still has three timeouts in his pocket. So that's a veteran move. You want those timeouts in your pocket for exact situations like this. Because like you said, 40 second play clock, you could take this bad boy all the way down if you don't have those timeouts. And he is going to be on his horses. Do you fall down here? Get book? down, get down, get down, get down. Take timeouts. 
Wow, he does not get down. I kind of, uh, I don't know. With the 40 with second that. play I, clock, you get down. He, if this I was... actually, I agreed to get the touchdown there because he had three timeouts left. So the most he could really, he would have had to have gotten down around the 40, maybe 30 yard line to make sure that his kicker can kick the field goal. But you go down maybe at the 10 yard line, he still has three timeouts. So at, at the very best, he could take the two. You, you're only taking 40 seconds off the play clock. And with the game, how it runs, any run, any dive, any stretch, anything could get into six, and then that would be the game there. So he's he's kind of guaranteeing that you cannot lose this game on this drive. It's impossible for Electric DC to lose the game on this drive. He needs to score, and then he also it, needs to go. It's for definitely two. it's impossible. I I do agree with that you know, assessment. It, it is impossible for him to lose a game on this drive. I just think that he's not going to pass the ball anyway. So why not just force him? You know, t- take more time off the clock. I-, I feel like time is your best friend. Um, just try to yeah, close the game I, out, in my opinion. Yeah, D- I, don't so extend the, the game worst, longer. Yeah, at the very worst, it would be he would be up four, and Beast Mo Mac would have zero timeouts with about a minute fifteen, minute ten left after the mm-hmm. kickoff, maybe. Um, and then in that in that case, you just hope that he doesn't break a big run. And I'm I'm putting doesn't GGs matter when you have the right defense. Now. I mean, he has the um, D. It it just might be GGs in the chat. He's forced. It's third and twenty-two. This game is over. He's his, his cap. His ten cap. Tom Brady needs to throw the ball. It's third and twenty-two, and he's in goal line right now. Chat. Oof. Let's Scary. let's show some love to my guy TK right now. Let, let's go emo only right now and show my guy mm-hmm. TK some love. One of the real MVPs of the Madden community. One of the guys that's really been supporting the Madden community. And really just, just pushing things forward, man. He's always gifting so He's gifting a bunch of subs in the chat right now. He's been one of those guys that's really just supported, you know, Mudhead and Friday Night Football since the beginning, since Jump. Him, my guy, NorCal, NorCal Navy Mike, you know, we're on first name basis now. Mike, Tony, mm-hmm. that's what TK stands for, Tony and his last name. But, however, show some love to my guys, all, all the – the valuable members of the the mudhead and just the Madden community period. Yeah, thank you so much, DK. Electric. Great just guy. kneel the ball out here. Just kneel the ball. Kick your three. I think he went on conservative. I mean, even though you still can fumble on conservative. So can here's really? the thing. Yeah, you can. So if if you do this, you're up you eight. You run the ball, you know, call plays, and you fumble. Can can you yell fluke, or do you eliminate your, your the you eliminate that from your any possibility? Like you can't even yeah, say right. fluke for yeah, for right. that. You, you get what I'm saying? Possessions. You go up two possessions, and it's it's literally impossible. It's not literally impossible, but it's probably it's not going to happen. Uh, you go up two possessions, twenty eight seconds left, <laughs> no timeouts, and he's got to get two scores, and he runs the ball. He has ten cap Brady. There yeah. we go. Yeah, that, he's that's all you need. Yeah, he's listening, my guy. Let's go, Electric. Make go on a run here tonight. Go take get this thousand dollars, man. You got to go on a run, but you got to make smarter decisions. So take yep, time. Two minute warning. Pay attention. Good. Two minute warning thing. You know, here don't risk a. You can only a person can only get the fluke by putting themselves in position for the fluke. You can't get it yeah. if you don't put yourself 